Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Sunday, it is Sunday, it is September, it is fall, I am here for it. So today I am bringing you all of my August favorites. I have a ton of WW food favorites. We're going to talk about some skincare and beauty products that I have been loving, a fragrance that has been my go-to. I have a lot to share with you today. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every week and we do a favorites every single month. As always, I will link everything I share with you today down in the description box with the exception of any of the WW foods that you can find at your local grocery store. Everything else will be linked down below for you. You'll also find in the description box, nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories. This is what has helped me lose over 123 pounds. So I highly recommend, and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. Other links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come and join our Facebook group. It's free and we'd love to have you. So let's dive into all of my August favorites. So as always, we're going to start with my WW food favorites and I have a lot of them. I tried a lot of new products this last month and I fell in love with a lot of new products this last month. So the first thing I want to share with you is this protein powder. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know that I bought a single serving little packet at Sprouts a couple weeks ago of the chocolate ascent protein powder. And I said, I'm going to get a little packet, a single serve, a sample and try it because if it's disgusting, I definitely don't want to invest in the full size bag. Well, I loved it. The protein powder is incredibly delicious and the ingredients, 10 out of 10. The only questionable ingredient in here is natural flavors. Everything else is nice and clean. This is the Ascent Native Fuel Whey Protein. It is fast digesting, zero artificial ingredients, 25 grams of protein. It is 120 calories, one gram of fat, and only two carbohydrates. As soon as I realized I loved the chocolate, I immediately went to Amazon. Thanks to one of you for letting me know that this is sold on Amazon because my Sprouts does not sell the full bag. They only had the little sample packet of the chocolate flavor only, but Amazon came through. Amazon has all of the flavors. This is lemon sorbet. It's incredible. I love to blend this up with some blueberries or raspberries or bananas or strawberries and make like a lemony, fruity, delicious protein shake. Zero aftertaste. It is so incredibly good. Speaking of aftertaste and sweeteners. I get asked a lot, what is it sweetened with? This one is stevia leaf extract. So there's no sucralose or artificial sweeteners in here. And it is so good. I can tell you right now that I'm about to empty out two protein powders and I will be buying this exclusively. I want to try every single flavor on Amazon. It's affordable and it's a nice, clean, delicious protein powder. So highly, highly recommend. Next up is another protein product. And this one warms my heart because you guys know I love fall and pumpkin spice anything. This is the Premier Protein Pumpkin Spice. I love this in my coffee. I feel like I'm having a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte with 30 grams of protein and 160 calories. And it tastes so, so good. I have also made ice cream out of this in my Ninja ice cream maker. I'll link my Ninja protein ice cream video down below if you haven't seen it. I made a decadent pumpkin ice cream. I like this by itself. I love it in coffee. It's great in a smoothie or blended up protein shake. It's really, really good. Now I have not been able to find this locally. I have been to Costco, I've been to Sam's Club, so I just ordered off of Amazon. We love Amazon. It delivers to your doorstep. It's affordable. So I will link the Amazon Premier Protein Pumpkin Spice down below. I have heard from you guys that you can find it at Walmart in the four pack. And some of you are even finding it by the case. Unfortunately, I can't. So I just ordered off of Amazon. But if you love pumpkin spice, you will love this. Now let's talk about some snacky foods because I love snacky foods. Starting with the Siete grain-free Mexican wedding cookies. When we moved to Arizona and we drove from Washington to Arizona, I bought a small little bag of these at I think Natural Foods or one of the healthy food stores. And I took it with me in the car as a road trip snack. These are so incredibly 
delicious. I saw this big bag at Costco for less than $7, which by the way is what I paid for the small little bag. So I grabbed it. These are gluten-free. These are vegan. They're made with almond flour and coconut oil. You can have five cookies for 150 calories. There's one gram of protein and the ingredients are perfect. Nothing artificial in here. Grain-free flour blend, almond flour, tapioca flour, arrowroot flour, cassava flour, chickpea flour, coconut sugar, coconut oil, powdered sugar, pecan pieces, avocado oil, apple cider vinegar, sea salt, baking soda, cinnamon, orange peel powder, vanilla extract, jasmine tea extract, that's it. That's it. Ingredients you can pronounce, all nice clean ingredients, and they taste really, really delicious. Here is the size of them. They're about the size of, I would say like a half dollar. And again, you get five of them for the points and calories, and they are so good and such nice clean ingredients. Let's keep talking about snacks. Let's keep talking about cookies. You know my love for Partake cookies. And look at what I found from Imperfect Foods. I've actually seen these in store as well. These are the Partake Pumpkin Spice Cookies. These are top nine allergen-free, vegan and gluten-free, and these ones are soft. A lot of the Partake cookies are a little bit more on the crunchy side, but these pumpkin ones are nice and soft. You can have three cookies for 140 calories. Here is what the cookies look like. And you get three of these for the serving size. And like I said, they're very they're very soft and they have an amazing a pumpkin spice flavor. The ingredients in Partake cookies are really good as well. And on the side here, it says they are nut-free, egg-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, fish-free, shellfish-free, mustard-free, sesame-free, and sulfate-free. So if you have a limited diet or you have to restrict certain ingredients, this could be the perfect cookie for you and the pumpkin spice is so good. Let's talk about protein bars and a new protein bar find that I fell in love with. I picked this up at Sprouts. It was one of their new featured items. This is the All Real Protein Bar in Chocolate and Sea Salt. 20 grams of protein and only 11 ingredients. So this is a nice, clean protein bar as well. Real food, real people, real impact. 218 calories and again, 20 grams of protein. It is made with Irish grass fed butter and it is so good. It is a Quest Bar consistency, so it is a little bit more of that Quest Bar texture, but it has solid flavor and it tastes like real food. It doesn't have those weird aftertaste that I find in a Quest Bar. Quest Bars are not my favorite and I've mentioned before that they actually kind of hurt my stomach when I eat them. This is great. It has nice clean ingredients. You get 20 grams of protein and it's ingredients that you can pronounce. And I want to say these are about $3 a piece at Sprouts. I need to do a little research and see if maybe they sell these on Amazon or maybe even anywhere online for a little less expensive. So wherever I can find these, maybe online, if you want to order them, if you don't have a Sprouts in your area, if your Sprouts doesn't carry them, I'll link them down below. But I highly recommend if you want a cleaner protein bar that still delivers 20 grams of protein. You know what I eat in a day? A couple of weeks ago, I did an entire taste test of Catalina Crunch products. I literally bought everything off of their website and we did a taste test. I gave you my honest review. I'll link that video down below, but spoiler alert, I love Catalina Crunch. It has become a staple for snacking for me. So I wanted to share with you the Catalina Crunch products that I purchased and that I've been loving. So first, cookies. Is there a pattern here? Is there a pattern that I love cookies? Cause I love cookies. I have all of the flavors of the Catalina Crunch cookies. Like I said, I taste tested them in that video that will be linked down below for you. I grabbed the peanut butter out of my cupboard. Two cookies is 90 calories, four grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and only two grams of sugar. They taste like Oreos. They have the same look to them. They have the same vibe as an Oreo cookie. Here is what the peanut butter one looks like. And again, two cookies for 90 calories is an incredible bang for your calorie, your points buck, not to mention you're getting in some fiber and some protein. I actually like all of the cookie flavors and then the cereals. I shared in a grocery haul again that I bought a couple single servings of these at Sprout so I could try them out. Obviously I liked them because I went online and bought full size bags of the different cereals. This particular one is Honey Graham, which is like Golden Grahams. I love the cinnamon one, the chocolate peanut butter, the chocolate, there's a fruity cereal. They have a lot of options. Zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, nine grams of fiber, which is 
fantastic. You can have an entire half of a cup for 110 calories and two points. You can't beat that for cereal that delivers protein and fiber and is low carb. Now, I don't eat it with milk. I just eat it as a snack. It's crunchy. It's delicious. Here's actually what the cereal looks like. They all look the same. All the different flavors are these little kind of crunchy square bits. Highly recommend. And lastly from Catalina Crunch, and something I've been loving so much that I need a restock already, is the Catalina Crunch snack mixes. Now they come in the original flavor, spicy, ranch, and one more. I can't remember what the other one is, but they're all absolutely delicious. Five grams of protein, four grams of fiber. They have pretzels, little square kind of crunchy bits like the cereal, some type of a nut, whether it's a pecan or a cashew. They're so good. They remind me of Gardetto's or Chex Mix, but just better for you. This particular one has 140 calories in one ounce. And again, it's going to deliver five grams of protein, four grams of fiber. If you love snack mixes, you know, the Chex Mix, the Gardetto's, the you know, all of those fun snack mixes out there, this is just a better option because you're actually getting in some protein and some fiber and it tastes really, really good. And here is what the snack mix looks like. So you can see that it is loaded with nuts and pretzels and little crunchy bits. I love all the snack mixes. The spicy is my least favorite because I'm a spice wimp, but if you love spicy, you will love it but you can't go wrong literally with any of the Catalina Crunch products. I will link them down below with a discount for you. Next up is an oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Oatmeal for me keeps me nice and full, especially if I doctor it up with some added protein. It can be a really great breakfast choice. And I discovered this Purely Elizabeth Organic Apple Cinnamon Pecan Superfood Oatmeal at sprouts. One third of a cup is 160 calories. It's going to give you five grams of protein. It has the cleanest ingredients that you're ever going to find in an oatmeal. Everything is organic. There's gluten-free oats, dried apples, pecans, flax seeds, chia seeds, quinoa flakes, purified puffed amaranth and cinnamon. That's it. And it is so good. Now it isn't a super sweet oatmeal. So I'll usually add some sweetener, like some Lakanto or some whole earth to it to make it a little bit sweeter. I've mixed protein powder into it. I've used an actual protein shake as my liquid in place of water to add in protein. I've blended it up in a smoothie. It's really, really good. And if you watch your ingredients and you want something healthy and delicious, the Purely Elizabeth is is amazing. And last but not least for WW Foods, we're gonna talk about a little bit more fall food that makes me really happy. And those are the new flavors from American Dream Nut Butter. You know that American Dream Nut Butter is my jam. I literally eat it every day. I love everything about it. It is lower points, lower calories than traditional peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butters on the market, and it tastes a million times better. And they did release some fall flavors. So first they released pumpkin, cheesecake. Now this is the almond butter. They also released pumpkin cheesecake and cashew butter, but I've shared on my channel that I prefer the peanut butter and almond butters from American Dream Nut Butter, so I typically buy those. But this is 7.2 grams of protein, 4.6 carbs, and 11 grams of fat per two tablespoon serving, 100 and 52 calories. Now, if you eat Jiff or Skippy, it's 190 calories for two tablespoons. This doesn't have all of those hydrogenated trans unhealthy fats in it. There's mix-ins, little bits of goodness in the nut butters, like cookies and candies. It really is like a decadent treat that's good for you. So I've been loving the pumpkin cheesecake. And then the other one that I picked up is also an almond butter, and this is the Big Apple. This one is incredible. It literally tastes like apple pie. There's apples in it, bits of crust, cinnamon, so good. Eight grams of protein, seven carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 160 calories in two tablespoons. You can see that it has all the mix-ins. It literally smells like apple pie. It makes me want to go have some right now. It's so good. So they released the big apple and the pumpkin cheesecake and almond butter. They released the pumpkin cheesecake and cashew butter. And then one other cashew butter. I'll go ahead and pop a picture in here for you. Like I said, I didn't purchase the cashew butters just because they're not my favorite. But if you love seasonal favorite, seasonal foods like pumpkin and apple, and you haven't tried American Dream Nut Butter, this is this is your, your notice. This is your go try it because it is incredible. And I also quickly wanted to share another new release from them, and that is these little individual serving size 
packets. These are great to take on the go to throw in your lunch, your kid's lunch, to monitor how much you're eating if you struggle with portion control. This is already two tablespoons, one portion in a little packet. This particular one is the Cinnamon Toasties Almond Butter. It's 159 calories and literally is two tablespoons pre-portioned out. So if this is a struggle for you, these are a great option. They have a lot of different flavors. They go in and out of stock because they're extremely popular, but I love these for on the go. I have one in my purse. I have one in my car. And with all my travel coming up, these are coming with me because it's a great way to get in some protein, healthy fats, and of course, delicious nut butter on the go. So I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with 10% off. So now let's jump into some beauty skincare fragrance favorites from the month of August. These are products that I have been using nonstop and I have been loving. On a side note, I get this question a lot if I'll share makeup tutorials or get ready with me here on my channel. I actually have a beauty channel that is specifically about beauty and I do a lot of makeup tutorials. We talk about subscription boxes, new makeup releases, lots of everything beauty on that channel. So if you're not subscribed, I'll link it down below for you. Come join me over there if you love beauty, makeup, skincare as much as I do. I do frequently share products here on this channel, but that, but my beauty channel, Budget Beauty, is all about everything makeup. So definitely come and subscribe. So the first thing I wanna share with you is my fragrance for August. I have been using the heck out of this. You can see that there is a decent amount gone. And first, let's talk about how adorable this packaging is. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Ever So Fresh Perfume. It smells so good. It is fruity, it is floral, but it's not too floral because I am not a floral fragrance kind of girl. I prefer spicy or fruity or fresh scents. And this gives me more fruity fresh than floral, but there is a little bit of that daisy base note. I love this perfume. Every time I wear this, I get a million compliments. I decided to buy the big bottle instead of the small bottle, even though I hadn't actually tried it out and I'm so glad that I did because it is a staple fragrance for me. Next up, I wanna share two skincare products, both of which are on my face today and are go-tos for my morning skincare routine. So I have a morning skincare routine and a nighttime routine and the moisturizer that I've been loving for the morning because it gives your skin this really pretty natural glow from within is from the brand Saturday Skin and this is the Pretty pop moisturizer. First, let's talk about this packaging. It is this pretty iridescent white packaging. It has no fragrance. It is a nice thick cream. So it gives that hydration to your skin. It layers really nicely under makeup and it has this glow from within property that I really like. I love to glow. I love skincare products that offer glowiness. And this is a probiotic power whipped cream moisturizer. It is beautiful. It is beautiful on its own. If you're not someone who wears a lot of makeup, it's going to give you that natural glow. And for me, I can even still see that glow under my makeup. So I've been loving this as part of my morning skincare. And the other product I use every morning, in fact, this is almost gone, is from Glow Recipe. And this is their watermelon niacinamide sunscreen with SPF 50. Again, the packaging is so cute. It is a little squeezy tube. I live in Arizona, it's sunny every day. I am all about protecting my skin from the sun. So I apply this as the final step of my morning skincare every single day. It's on under my makeup today. And this one I like because it's light, it's fresh, it has a really nice scent sweet kind of watermelon scent. And again, I like it because it layers well under makeup, but these two paired together gives you the most beautiful glowy skin. So again, if you don't wear makeup or you like that no makeup makeup look, these are great products. And the other thing I really like about this one is it has SPF 50 and a lot of the other sunscreens have significantly less SPF and I will take as much protection for my face as possible. Now I have a few makeup products that I wanna share with you, starting with what is on my lips. Every time, I wear this lip combo, I get a million questions. So, and I've been wearing it a lot. So it's definitely a favorite for August. And these are from the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels launch. Also my eyeshadow palette, which we'll get to is from this same launch. So I ended up purchasing one of her lip liners and I have the shade Juicy. This is actually what is on my lips today. I love lip liner. As I age, I feel like if I line my lips, my lipstick doesn't sink into any fine lines I have around my lips. And her lip liners are some of the creamiest that you're going to find. They glide on 
beautifully. And then with that, I also have the Juicy Liquid Lip. The packaging is so cute. I have this liquid lip on by itself with no gloss, and it is not Sahara Desert Dry. I like her formula. I feel like the liquid lips are comfortable to wear on their own. You could certainly add a gloss or an oil to them, but I love this juicy color. It is such a unique color to my collection, and I've been wearing it a ton. And like I said, every time I wear this, you guys ask what's on my lips. Well, here you go. It's the Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels Juicy. Speaking of Jaclyn Cosmetics, I love her concealer. It's funny because I watch a lot of beauty YouTube and this does not have the best reviews, but for me, I really enjoy this. This is actually the concealer that I have on today. For me, I find that it does not settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. It isn't dry. It isn't crepey. It lasts all day. I don't see any settling. I really, really, really love this concealer. I have have the shade light medium it's perfect because it gives that brighter under eye and I find like I said that this doesn't settle into fine lines and I have a lot of them because I'm almost 47 years old so I really like this and I know that makeup in general is personal I know that concealer is very personal but for from someone who's in my mid 40s I find that this works really well for me speaking of fine lines and wrinkles under the eye this elf halo glow loose powder is the best powder for setting your under eye. It is the Halo Glow and it is the pink tinted one. It's an HD powder. This again is what I'm wearing today. I have tried countless powders for under my eyes. Most of them, most of them make my under eyes look crepey and dry. This one is flawless, like a filter flawless. It does not settle into my fine lines. In fact, it just literally airbrushes them. I don't know what's in this powder and it's like six dollars now i don't set my whole face with this actually it's funny take i mean that's how much i've used it's almost gone that's how much i love this powder i use it every day under my eyes i do not set my face with it you certainly can but for me i save it i savor it and i save it for under my eyes because out of all the powders i've tried high-end and drugstore for setting aging under eyes i can't recommend the elf Halo HD powder enough. And then as always, we'll end out my favorites with my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month. And this is the one on my eyes today. And that is the Jaclyn Hill Strawberry Feels Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette. And again, every time I wear this, you guys always, always ask what is on my eyes. You love the whole berry toned vibe. I love the berry toned vibe. I feel like pinky berry toned shadows look nice with most skin types, most complexions, hair colors, eye colors. It's just a really neutral with a spin universal eyeshadow color. So here is what the palette looks like. There are two shimmers in the palette and the rest are mattes. I love the white matte. I use that to lighten up and blend out looks. I love the deepest matte in the palette. That's actually what I have on my outer corner today. What is on my eyes today is the shade Lemonade, All Time Feels, Berry Whipped, and then I have the two shimmers, Sugar Coated and Fresh Picked. That's what's on my eyes today. I'll go ahead and zoom you guys in so that you can see my eye look a little bit better, but I just added those shades to my eyes and I love the look. I think it gives a really pretty fresh neutral look with a little bit of a spin. The formula in here is really good. The shimmers are great. The mattes blend beautifully. I mean, the packaging, 10 out of 10. I really, really love this palette. In fact, I love the whole Strawberry Feels collection. I think I'm actually gonna pick up the other two lips, the other two lip combos, liners, and liquid lips that are in the collection. And there's also a lip scrub that I'm considering too. So I'll link all of this down below for you. But if you love neutral with a twist, berry tone palettes, highly recommend the Strawberry Feels. So those are all of my August favorites. We had a ton of WW Foods. We had skincare. We had beauty. Really great things this last month that I've truly fallen in love with. Like I mentioned, I will link everything down below for you with any discounts, lowest prices that I can find, with the exception of the foods that you can find at your local grocery store. I'll also have all of my, I'll also have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, my Facebook group, my beauty channel, all of that will be down in the description box for you. And let me know which of my favorites for the month of August are you excited to try and very likely could become one of your favorites. Definitely let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. I do a favorites every month and I upload five
five videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching. Happy September, happy beginning of fall, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's meal prep. Bye.